Hi, we are from Dubai College, and for our video, we decided to explore one of the first topics we ever did and expand on it. We did lots of research till we found this. The cornstarch is a polymer, a substance that has molecule, a molecular structure built up from a large number of similar units bonded together. These chains can move past each other, although it takes some time to do. If you pour it slowly, it can flow like a liquid. It has a fixed volume, but no fixed shape. If you try to force things... The substance is made of tiny solid particles of cornstarch suspended in water. Chemists call this type of mixture a colloid. Your finger is, your finger is applying what a physicist would call a sideways shearing force to the water. In response, the water shears or moves out of the way. The behavior of the substance relates to its viscosity. Or resistance to its to flow. Water's viscosity doesn't change when you apply a shearing force, but the viscosity of the substance does. The new substance which we have made is what scientists called a non-Newtonian fluid. Basically, Sir Isaac Newton stated individual liquids flow at a constant, predictable rate. We discovered that this cornstarch goo does not follow those rules. It can act almost like a solid and then flow like a liquid. Technically speaking, the goo is a suspension, meaning the grains of starch are not dissolved. They are just suspended and spread out in the water. If you let the goo sit for a while, the cornstarch would have settled to the bottom of the bowl. Cornstarch, or corn flour, is made from very fine particles. This means, like most other powdered solids, when you mix it to a certain ratio of water, it turns into a substance which has liquid qualities. In this diagram, the arrows show the force being applied. As you can see, the particles have gotten closer together. This is because when you apply a force, the particles are pushed in to create a solid. Once we had finished our experiment, we started to think about how we could apply this to the real world. Turns out there are many non-Newtonian fluids around. They don't all behave like our substance, but each one is weird in its own way. For example, ketchup is a non-Newtonian fluid, as well as quicksand.